Worldwide Wood Turners has a a challenge of sorts for the upcoming weeks to turn a bunny. So I've thought about it and I got some ideas. So let's see if we can <laughs> bring this to fruition. So check this out. Got a piece of ash juniper on the lathe. It's been said that I need to use more camera angles. Well, my camera mounts are pretty much in fixed positions. So, I mean, what I have is what I have. Not really a whole lot I can do about it. I told y'all I'm lazy. I could put my camera, this one right here, uh, back on the tripod and turn a little and move it and turn a little and move it and turn a little and move it I don't have time for that sort of thing so what you see is what you're gonna get I will change from time to time depending on what I think looks best for for y'all to be able to see but for now this is where we are so this is going to be the body of the bunny That's the problem with juniper, it cracks. You can look at it and it cracks. We'll flatten the ends off. Now it's time to do some math. Math and wood turning? What? That is just over two and three quarter inches wide. Let's call it 72 millimeters, because that may be easier to deal with. 72 millimeters wide. If this is two-thirds the length, so I need to add another third, which is half of 72. Now, this doesn't have to be that precise. So I'm going to make a mark here to leave me some room to play with. And I'm going to make that 108. And my thickest part is one-third which is 36. Now, yeah, I could do Fibonacci and all of that, but the rule of thirds typically works okay. This is basically gonna be the length of my egg. Before I go any further, I'm gonna put some, some brown CA in there. Starbond Premium Super Glue. Click the link below. No code to enter, just click, click the link and you'll save 15% on your order. Anyway, I'll get this all filled up when I when I'm ready to continue. I will come back. Now, I'm not the originator of this technique per se. I'm going to take it a little further than he did, but I saw this demonstrated a few years ago by my friend Todd Rains. He demonstrated this on one of his lives. Speaking of Starbun, Starbun has a new product called their Speed Series. It's supposed to dry a whole lot quicker than their standard, so I'm giving it a try. Come on, soak into that sawdust.
So off camera, I made me a little cup center so that I can put it down here and support my piece while I'm doing the top of this here egg. And yes, it is threaded. So basically, except for the sanding, that's done. I want to finish some of this shaping and then we'll sand and then I'll part it up. Okay, I, I turned the ears off camera just to make sure that my methodology was going to work, and it did. I think that came out really cool. What do you mean ears? I only see one piece. Well, yeah. I used the blue tape super glue trick to hold these together while I was turning them so that I would have mirroring pieces. So you basically put a piece of blue tape on each side, put the super glue on in between the tape and glue them together. Well, it broke off. I can sand part of that up. We'll see. This isn't working, so I'm going to make me a jig. When I get that done, I'll come back. Like Eddie Castellan always says, if you can hold it, you can turn it. Well, I'm holding this. Well, how'd I do that? I basically made a collet chuck. Collets are the kinds of things that are used in routers to hold the bits. They've got slots in them, and as you tighten them, it squeezes those slots together and it tightens down on the piece. Well, I made one, this one, some time ago, and it gets the job done, but it wasn't big enough, and I didn't want to make it smaller. So I took a piece of faulted persimmon, it's really hard, and I made another one. It's concave on the inside, so the inside is shaped like this so that it'll hold this. And I've got it nice and tight, and now I can sand this the way it should be sanded. It's not exactly center, but it's close enough for sanding. And it'll give me a nice concentric shape. The only thing you have to be mindful of when you do a chuck like this is this part right here because it will hurt. It don't take rocket surgery to know this. Now I may have to do some touch up sanding with 4 and 600. I'll just sand with the grain after I get this out. Now I hear you ask it. Okay genius, you don't have anything to hang on to. How are you going to get that egg out of there? Well you're right. I don't have anything to hang on to and I, it's too slick for me to pull out and when I was test fitting the hole, I discovered that. But I was able to get it out through some ingenuity. And then after I got it out, the first thing I did was take it over to the workbench and drill a through hole in here. So now all I have to do is put a wooden dowel in there and push it out. I'll go put this in the vise on my workbench and pop it out there for the head.
Okay, that's my thickest point. So Billy, why aren't you worried about that? Because I can make this the flat that sits on the body. Now I've got to be a little bit gentle. Now, I could finish this in any number of ways. I could put a sanding thing in here and sand it all nice and round and be done with it. But I like mine to be a little more, well, let's just say perfect than that. I'm going to make a temporary chuck until the rest of my parts come in Saturday. So then I'll make a permanent one. But when I get this made up, I'll be back. So basically, it is a temporary jam chuck. I didn't end up using it as a temporary vacuum chuck. So I'm basically gonna, because I don't, if I try to put a tool to this, it'll knock it out, and I don't want to do that. So I'm basically going to shape this with an 80 grit. See, even using the sandpaper. All kinds of nasty sand and scratches. So I'm just gonna have to sand it with the grain by hand. When I get that done, I'll come back. So size comparison, I think that's about right. So I glued these together using super glue with blue tape between them. And you can see it spread a little bit, <clears throat> but that's okay. I'm turning the front seat now. I want to take the back seat to the same
this ready to put in there so I can finish the top and I'll be back. I protected this with tape. Now we'll do the back feet. Okay, I've got the back feet checked up. Making me some working room. I'm going really slow and gentle because I had all that tear out a while ago. I don't want that again. So all the pieces are cut for our little project, and what I want to do first, I need to sand a flat on the bottom of this a little bit, and I need to sand a curve on the bottom of this so it will sit here better. That's why I left this kind of ragged, because I knew I was going to sand some of that up so that it will sit like so. So let me get my sander set up, and I'll do that real quick, and I'll come back. Okay, got the flat sanded on there, sits just fine. Got the round sanded on here. It fits as well. This is going to sit basically like this between the legs. I'll have the head glued on here and the ears glued on here. And we'll have a, bun a bunny wabbit. I'm going to use Starbond Thick CA. It should do the trick. Get a good dollop on there. Hold that for a minute. Still a little wiggly. Those heads turned a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind that at all, really. And I burn in the nose and I burn his toes. I painted his eyes. I'm using lacquer. It's not perfect, but it's cute. Every piece on him was somewhat egg shaped. I think that's pretty cool. Little turned rabbit. I use my wood burner for the nose and for the toes on the feet. I painted the eyes with black acrylic pen and he's got a little egg shaped tail so all the pieces of this it's finished with several coats of gloss lacquer and all the pieces were roughly egg shaped to start with so six egg shaped pieces and I've got a bunny now in retrospect the head is probably I should have rounded the nose just a bit more and made it just a little shorter but there's no denying that this is a bunny i lasered my name and date in the bottom all in all i'm very very pleased with it one of the things you can do on a wood lathe with a little imagination now like i said at the beginning the idea wasn't initially all mine i mean i saw a friend of mine todd rains do one he just did the body the head and the ears and put a little flat on the bottom he didn't do the feet and the tail but I wanted to take it an extra step further and I think it's cute. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I don't know what I'm going to come up with next. Something fun maybe. <laughs> you never know about me. Yeah.